Hey guys, Constance here. Welcome back to Good Life Farm. So today I am cooking another uh, really delicious soup. This is another cheesy soup. In case you missed my last recipe video, I shared uh, cheddar broccoli soup. Super, super easy, creamy, cheesy. Kids love it because it's cheesy vegetables. But the soup that I'm making today is a slow cooker recipe. You can see I got my slow cooker out over there. This is a cheeseburger soup and it's kind of all the things you love about a cheeseburger in a soup. But it's a great soup when you've got a busy day ahead and I've got a little bit of a busy day ahead of me today. A lot of work done or a lot of I have a lot of work to do and so I'm getting it started this morning. I've got some red onion. Now you can use a regular uh, yellow onion, white onion, just a medium sized one or you could use a half of a red onion because red onions tend to be massive. And so that's what I did because I used a red onion in my soup that I made last night. And so I diced up half of a red onion and I've got it cooking in my skillet over there with a pound of ground beef. And I'm just going to brown the ground beef. I'm going to drain off any excess grease and I will put the onion and the ground beef in my slow cooker in a minute with the other ingredients. Alright, so I peeled and cubed up four carrots and now I'm doing the same with about a pound and a half of potatoes and I have made this with uh, red potatoes, Yukon Golds and Idaho potatoes. Really you can make it with whatever kind of potatoes you have on hand and I'm using Idaho potatoes today and you just want to use about a pound and a half, more or less. Uh, you can use more if you want a lot of potatoes in it. You can use less if you don't want as much. So I'm just cubing these up into about three quarter of an inch or so sized pieces. Toss them in there along with my carrots, my ground beef and onion, and uh, then I'll add in a few more ingredients here in a second. So now I'm going to add in one teaspoon of chipotle powder. Grab this one. We're going to add in three cloves of minced garlic, which is about a tablespoon. Two tablespoons of classic yellow mustard. A quarter of a cup of ketchup. Half a teaspoon each of salt and pepper.
and four cups of beef broth. Now I'm just going to stir this all together and then I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to let it cook for four hours if it's on high or about six to eight hours if it's on low. Alright you guys, so it has been a bit. I've been out and about, which you um, probably just saw that video yesterday if you watched the Wednesday vlog, uh, working outside. And yes, I know it is already the end of November, beginning of December, and I'm in a tank top. It was hot outside. It's kind of ridiculous. But you know, the Farmer's Almanac did did uh, predict a roller coaster kind of winter, hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold. But, like I said at the beginning of the video, I had a very busy day ahead, which is one of the reasons I wanted to do a slow cooker meal. And so the soup has been cooking all day, and now I'm just going to finish it up by making a nice, thick cheese sauce to pour into the rest of the soup. Alright, so I've got two tablespoons of butter melted here in a saucepan, and I'm going to add in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. We'll kind of whisk these together. We'll let those kind of cook for just a minute. Let that flour begin to bubble a little bit. And that's kind of starting to look a little bit fluffy and bubbly. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in one and a half cups of milk. And we're going to whisk this together and cook it until it begins to boil and thicken. So now my sauce here is nice and thick. I'm going to add in a cup and a half of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And we're just going to melt this all together. All right, and that right there is an amazing cheese sauce that you could use for nachos, veggies, anything you would want some cheese sauce for. That is it right there. And then we'll take this cheese sauce and we'll add it into the soup. And that is it. The soup is done. And when you serve this, you could top it with some extra shredded cheese. You could use some diced up pickles if you wanted to. Basically anything that you would want to put on a cheeseburger, you could top this soup with or stir it in. All right, so I hope you like this recipe. Um, as always, I have a printable version of it on my website. If you are watching this anywhere other than on my blog, I will put a link to it down below so that you could print it out or save it on Pinterest or however you like to save your recipes. So thanks for joining me here again in the Homestead Kitchen. My name is Constance at A Good Life Farm and I'll talk to y'all next time.